Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to use Google Website Optimizer. And if you aren't sure what that is, it's a software program that Google released for free that you can use to test two different versions of a page, or even more than two versions if you have them. But what we're going to show you today is how to use, do an A-B split test using Google Website Optimizer. And we're using the squeeze page that we're giving away a traffic report that we wrote called the Conversion Doctrine. And I'll show you both pages real quick. And just a little preface before I show you, normally when you do an A-B split test, you want to have two very, very different versions of your page so you can see which elements might be working better than others. But just for the sake of us showing you a real life case study, we just came up with two that aren't too different, but they're different enough that we can use it as a test. So this is the first page. We just have the title and all the copy, and then we have the ebook and the opt-in. And then on the second page, we have the same kind of layout, but we, we're using a blue headline and arrows, and then we have this uh, red button and red dotted line around the form. And you would you probably think that it won't make too much of a difference, but we're going to release the numbers after we run this for a little while, and I think you guys might be surprised. So what you need to use Google Website Optimizer is you need at least two pages and a thank you page. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these two pages that I just showed you, page A and page B. And then we're going to go into Google Website Optimizer and I'm going to show you how to actually set this up. And if you don't know how to get there, just go to google.com and type in Google Website Optimizer and it will be the first result. So once you get to this screen and you're logged in, what you want to do is hit create another experiment or create a experiment if you haven't made any yet. And then once the next page loads, it'll this page will pop up. And what it's asking you is if you want to do an A-B or a multivariate split test. The difference is an A-B split test is testing two different pages that are very, very different. So you could have one page that has a lot of copy and then one page that has a video. Um, and then with a multivariate test, you're essentially testing one page, but testing different headlines, different headline colors, images, and stuff like that. And you can test five images, six headlines, and three different headline colors, and it'll rotate through all that and give you data and say, this is working better than this. And once you have a lot of traffic and you know what's working in your A-B experiments, you can move on to that. But for now, for this case study, we're going to show you how to set up an A-B split test. So we're going to click on A-B experiment. And then this page is pretty much explaining what I just told you. It's saying choose two pages that you want to split test, which is um, that A page and the B page I showed you earlier, and then a conversion page or a thank you page. So let's say you have a page with an opt-in form and then once someone opts in and they get their email and they confirm to your email list what page do they get taken to saying hey thanks for confirming your subscription here's your download or whatever it happens to be you have to identify those three pages and once you do that you just click here I've completed these steps and I'm ready to start setting up my experiment and hit create and then once it loads um, give your experiment a name I'm gonna call this real world traffic squeeze okay and then uh, on the second step all you need to do is take your two page URLs and here are mine okay and then um, the original one we'll just keep, leave that as original and then for the second page we'll call it um, squeeze page B Okay, so that way we know that the first page I showed you, that's the original page, and then the one with the arrows and the blue headline and all that, that is our alternate page that we're split testing against it. Okay, and then this down here, step three, the conversion page, what I was talking about earlier, like if you have a squeeze page, when someone opts in and goes through your process, where do they end up? The page that says, hey, thanks for signing up or opting in or whatever it is, and here's your download. So once you identify that page, put that in here. There's ours, and then hit continue. Okay, and then once you get to this part, there are two different things you can do. The first one is if you have some kind of webmaster or tech guy that takes care of all your website stuff, you can um, say your webmaster will install and validate the JavaScript tags and then you can follow through and do it this way um, 
if you have a guide to do that. But if you don't, then you can click you will install and validate the JavaScript tags and then hit continue. And then here's the tags that you need to use. They've made it very, very easy to set this up. It used to be when you did split testing, you need a script, a rotation script, a script to make sure that you're getting even traffic and you'd have to have some sort of analytics package, but this kind of rolls it all into one and you only need to insert a couple codes on your page to do it. So for the first thing you need to do on this page is where it says control script, paste the following at the beginning of your original page's source code. So this goes, this would be our page with the red headline, this one that I originally showed you. This is our our main version, remember, and then this is our alternate version or page B, whatever you want to call it. So um, go back to that. And then what you would do is open up your page, your original control page and do an HTML editor and paste this code right here, just right click copy and paste it at the beginning of your original page's source code and if you need more help with that you can click right here and it'll say view a sample source code and it shows you exactly where it goes so the first code goes above everything else above the HTML and head tags and all that and then once you do that you put the one that says tracking script at the end of your source code and also if you are confused again then you can just check here and where it has this green too so before the ending body tag is where that one would go and if you don't understand the stuff like I said you can get a tech guy or a web guy whatever um, you can find and this shouldn't cost more than ten to twenty dollars to do because it's, it's really easy you just have to copy and paste but if you don't feel comfortable with messing with your landing pages then just um, hire a tech guy and it's really easy to do okay so then once you do that on your variation page which would be our page B, this one with the blue headline and the arrows, you would take this script and like it says paste the following at the end of all of your page all of your variation page of source code. So we would put this at the at the very end like just like the page A, but on the second page with the blue headline and arrows and all that. And then the last one is the conversion page tracking script so you just copy and paste this and put it at the end of your conversion pages source code and remember that's the thank you page or download page so once they opt in and go through your process and confirm their email if they have to that page where it says you know thanks for opting in here's your download or thank you for becoming a member whatever it is okay so you do all that and then you upload the files or if you're having someone else do it just say hey this is what needs to be done let me know when you're done with it and then once you finish all you have to do is scroll down here and hit validate pages and it'll check to make sure that you have the codes in the right place and everything set up correctly and it says congratulations all your pages have been validated blah blah, blah and they're ready so you hit OK and then you hit continue okay and then here's just kind of like a summary of your original page, your variation page, and your conversion page. And remember that was this is the original page, and then this is the alternate page B, and then here's our conversion page. So that's all set up and it's all right because they go through that check for you once you install the tags. And then all you have to do now is hit start experiment. And that's it. Um, you've successfully launched the experiment. And then it says reports will be available in two to three hours. And it says that because this isn't in real time, it only updates every couple hours. So don't sit there like refreshing, wondering if it's working. Because if it told you that you have everything in the right place, it is. Just let it run for a while, check it every couple hours maybe. And all you, this is all you have to do to start getting dead and start running your experiment. All you need to do is start sending your traffic to your page A, your control page so that would be this one for us and then it'll automatically start splitting the traffic to both of your variations and then once you start getting data you just hit experiments up here and then hit real world traffic squeeze page and here it is so that's really all you have to do and now it's running 
and we can't see anything yet because like I said it takes a couple hours but once it starts running for a while you'll start collecting data and seeing which page is working better so that's a, a pretty basic overview of how to set up an A-B split test it's really painless and easy and if you have any questions just leave us a comment or let us know thanks